Let's take a look at an easy way to remotely control your oscilloscope using nothing but an Ethernet connection and a web browser. This feature is called eScope. And to get started, you connect up your scope to your network with the Ethernet port on the back of the scope. And then take a look in the utility I.O. menu to see what the IP address is that was assigned to the oscilloscope. We can see in this case that my scope was assigned 192.168.1.17. We type this into the address bar for the web browser and that brings up the LXI screen for the oscilloscope. Next, simply click the instrument control eScope link on the left hand column. Now an exact replica of what's on the scope screen appears in your web browser and you can simply use your mouse to control all of the aspects of the scope as if you're sitting right in front of it. Perhaps you're working in an environment where you can't physically connect your scope to your Ethernet network. Or you want to connect to the scope uh, wirelessly. We've got a way to do that as well. You may be able to utilize a device like this. This is a little nano router that I have from TP-Link, but they're offered by uh, many other manufacturers. This could be configured as a, a hotspot or a router, or in our case, we want to configure it as an access point. After following the manufacturer's instructions to turn this device into an access point, we connect up the Ethernet port to the Ethernet port on the back of the scope, and then power it up with the USB cable also connected to the back of the scope. Then we just check which IP address was assigned to the scope from the access point. And now with your device like my old uh, iPad here uh, connected up to the access point, we can open up a web browser and connect up to that IP address. And we come up with the LXI screen for the scope. And we touch on the instrument control eScope link. And now we have remote wireless access with the tablet to control our scope.